Hello and welcome to the Toffee Blues, your source for all things Everton. And this is the uh, extra time review. Um, you know, a few days after Everton's two 0 defeat to Tottenham at the weekend, and there, there was kind of a mixed reception to this match afterwards. I felt I think a lot of people were you know disappointed that Everton didn't really have a go, and uh, you know, and, and and inevitably ended up. Uh, losing to the superior side and then there's, there was others that fell on another day with a bit more luck and you know maybe a few name like bigger names back in the side that we could have got something out of the match and I'm, I'm kind of I'd probably say I'm more in that second party almost I think um, I think in the first half we played very well and executed the plan that Lampard put out perfectly you know you've got to remember that last time we went to Spurs away was uh, back in March last year, and we tried to try to, you know, match them and 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 give them a go, and ended up getting absolutely slaughtered. So I understand why we did what we did, completely. And I think on another day, if the chances in those first half had fallen to the right people, or, or, or you know, if we had better finishes in the side, then we could have easily got something out that match. So I'm not too disheartened. I know a lot of people were disappointed with the performance and that, but I think I think you know we. I I don't think it was any worse than anyone was really expecting. To be honest, you know, Spurs are one of the best sides in the league. They're really well organized by Conte, of course, and they have some of you know they have some of those attackers that we were just lacking. You know, you have players like Kane and Son, and even Richarlison before he got injured, of course, who can just make a chance out of nothing really. And 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 it was I think it was just mistakes again that cost us individual mistakes and that's not on Lampard you know I, I saw a lot of criticism for him in particular for like the way he set up and sending us out there pretty much to try and hold Spurs off and maybe try and just nick a goal on the counter attack but I I I I do genuinely think that's the way I expect us to play and I thought we did that exactly right and I think that was the right way to go about it really and um, obviously. You know, Pickford, who's been just almost like faultless for so long now, makes a, makes an error for the first goal, let's be honest. And again, I saw a lot of people saying this wasn't a penalty. I, I don't see it myself, really. I think I think Pickford's reaction, the fact he like, didn't really complain about it at all, tells you that it, it was a penalty. It's clumsy for him. You know, he, he fails to hold on to the initial shot and... And, you know, he lunges in when he probably doesn't need to. I'm, I'm not sure where Kane's touch is actually going to take him there, if he's going to be able to get a goal out of it. So, it, it an individual mistake, really. And once Spurs have got ahead, I think everyone kind of realised that we were, you know, going to gonna struggle to get anything back into that match because they were going to sit back. And, you know, like I said before, Spurs are so good defensively now under Conte. And, like, especially once they had that midfield three, which did kind of seem to change the match, actually. Suddenly enough, once Richardson went off and they reverted back to that almost 5 3 2, if you will, with the three in the midfield to counter our three in midfield. Yeah, they we were really suffocated then. So I do think we struggle against three man midfield. It's all similar against Manchester United as well. So that is. Perhaps something that needs to be addressed. Perhaps uh, I, I guess so. Um, I think the only criticism, something I didn't really understand, the only criticism I could really levy at Lampard is the substitutions again, the decision to put a Wobie at right back. I understand why he does it. I know we're very limited in that position at the moment. Now Patterson's out injured and Coleman's not exactly in in the best of form at the moment. But I don't think a Wobie at right back is the answer. It completely neutralizes any sort of attacking threat he has. I think we've, you know, we we all know by now Wobie's not very effective out wide in a winger position, never mind a right back in position he's really unfamiliar with and 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 he's very limited defensively because of course he is. He's an attack minded player. And I I think he's you know, I think that gets caught out for the second goal. You know, he's he's far too far behind. Hoiberg's in acres of space and by the time either Cody or Tarkovsky can close him down, he's he's been allowed allowed time to pick his spot and it's a great finish and that's game game over. There's no chance of getting back into it once Spurs make it 2 0. So I do I do think that decision was a bit odd. I understand he needs to get he wants to get Garner on the pitch and doesn't really want to sacrifice a midfielder because all three of them and how work hard they work 
are so effective to the team, but I I just don't <clears throat> don't see what use we get out of a Wobi at right back, and I think it limits us a lot more defensively. It, it's I don't we've done it twice now against United and Tottenham. I don't really want to see it again. I I, I would rather just have Coleman out there or even Holgate perhaps. You know Holgate was back on the bench. Uh, obviously he's probably there's probably concerns over his fitness at the moment still. Maybe wasn't ready to be given half an hour or so at Spurs, I guess. But I, I will be at right back. It's not the answer for me. And I think that's probably the only criticism I can levy at Lampard over this game. I, I don't think that game we, we is really too much to take from. I think a lot of knee jerk reactions going about as ever. I, I don't. It doesn't really change too much in my head for me. I think we know where we are. Of what we are. I think the United and Spurs games have told us that both. And I think we know where we're aiming for now, really. You know, obviously the aim this season, it, it's still at the moment, of course. And like it just despite, you know, results going a bit differently to perhaps what people expected. They are the objective is of course still to stay up and to try and avoid a relegation battle as much as possible. And now, of course, after a few good results, you know, Southampton, West Ham picking up wins there that you know, that seem to show the tides turning a bit. You know, you start to look at maybe trying to break into the top half or whatever. But I, I honestly think 13th, 14th, I'd be more than happy with that after the season we had before. And, you know, I think that's definitely a step in the right, right direction. And we just need to keep building on that. We're, it's a transitional period we're in at the moment. We need to take it slowly. And I think knee jerk reactions don't help that. Just. You know, we weren't expecting to beat Spurs away, or at least if we were, if if you were, then you're kidding yourself. Let's be honest. So that that's that's pretty much where we're at. You know, we we I think we I don't want to say give them a go, but you know, we 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 frustrated them for a long time. Like I said, I was saying on the commentary, you could tell by Conte's reactions to the goals that that was a hard fought win for them. You know, we didn't make it easy for them at all, um, like we did last year, basically. So that's that's clearly improvement, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? So yeah, I I, I was I was actually quite pleased with the performance. Um man of the match, James Tarkovsky again. I think he wins it two weeks in a row for me now. I I would have voted for him again against United as well. Just absolutely rock solid. And based on the fact that Kane was really causing us problems, I actually thought Tarkovsky handled him very well. And like I say, I did only managed to stick away a penalty that was a mistake from Pickford, like I say, an individual mistake. Nothing too much to Tarkovsky's control. And yeah, <clears throat> like I say, him and Cody are probably the biggest difference to our side this season. I know it's been said so often, not, but they are just getting more and more solid by the week. And that's going to make us harder to harder to beat. And like, as I say, that's, that's what I take from this. Tottenham, we didn't make it easy for Tottenham. They didn't, you know, we didn't roll over and they had to work hard. To get a win, which based on how good a side they are, I think is credit to Lampard is what I have to say to that, honestly. And and yeah, that's that's pretty much where my head's to lie. I haven't really changed since since Saturday. I don't really think there's any deeper reflection to be had. I think, you know, Newcastle away next, and then uh Crystal Palace at home and then away to Fulham, and then that's October over. They're three games that, you know. I think are much better indicators of where we're at. I think Newcastle away, the form we're in at the moment, and the fact we don't really like going to St James's Park could be a struggle. Um, I think I, I think at this point I would probably take a draw for that. Palace at home, I, I do. I am starting to kind of just back us to beat anyone at home at this point. Genuinely, like being so defensive solidly and having good at some behind you just just it gives me more hope of nicking a goal. And then Fulham away, of course. I know Fulham have started the season well, but a reunion with Marco Silva, they should still be a side we're beating. I think that'll be a very good indicator of where we're at. And it's performances as well as results, I think. And uh, the, the United performance concerned me a lot more than this one, let's put it that way. And yet, I think the general reaction to the Spurs result was a lot worse than the United one. So a bit confusing for me. And uh, feel free to leave in the comments uh, if you disagree with me and what what you make of the Tottenham result even now, if, if your opinion has changed since that night compared to now, then yeah, yeah, leave below in the comments what you thought. But um, yeah, I think that's pretty much all I've got. So uh, please leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe to the Topic Blues for more of the content. And as I say, 
comment down below giving your thoughts and we will see you in the next video cheers